Hi everybody, Husky Light here. Uh, first of all, thank you so, so much for your likes, shares, your subscribes, Google Pluses. I'm hoping that the volume is better this morning and that you can hear me all right. Um, I've borrowed my little girl's headphones off her Xbox. She's not happy, um, but it will do until I've, I've managed to sort out a new microphone. Um, so our angel cards for today, it is Wednesday the 12th of August 2015 and we're starting off with enchantment this morning recapture your childlike sense of wonder and awe view the world as a magical place do you remember when you were a child and how magical the world seemed the sense of enchantment of the spirit of our inner child somewhere along the way did we lose that sense of wonder the angels are asking you to recapture your magical sense by remember, remembering that a miraculous power surrounds you. Ask God, as your angels, your higher consciousness to help you with anything, large or small. Don't worry, you aren't removing angels from more important tasks when you ask for their help with everyday situations. They truly want to support you so that you are free of worry. In that way, you exude the joy and wonder of children who trust that they are taken care of. And when you are joyful, your divine light inspires everybody who sees you. So whatever your worries are today, just hand them over to your angels and, and don't worry about it. Let your angels worry. That's what they're there for, to help transmute your fears, your doubts, your worries. So hand them over to them and, and let's get that childlike wonder back. Let's get that, um, that innocence that we used to have when we didn't have to worry about mortgages and rent and bills and everything else that we tend to worry about now, relationships, family. Let's just hand those over for one, one day. Hopefully it's a beautiful day where you are. Good morning, Jeannie. Hopefully it's a really nice day where you are. And we don't need to have these worries. We don't need to be carrying them around with us. It's just extra baggage. So let's just get them handed over today. Let's not worry about things and let's just be as happy as we can. The happier we are, the more content we are, the more peace we've got inside us, the better it is for us. The more we can manifest, the more we can think, bring the good things into our lives and the more we can shine our light on other people, the happier they'll be as well. Remember they're a mirror to us. Our second card this morning is Divine Guidance. Trust and follow your intuition. It is God and your angels who are speaking to you. You are being divinely guided right now. Your gut feelings that you have, the knowingness, the visions or the inner voice are all trying to tell you something. I think Jeannie may be trying to tell us something too. I don't actually understand husky owls but... <laughs> I think she's just saying hello to you all this morning. So, our inner voices, our guards, our angels are trying to tell us something at the moment and it is really important that we trust and follow the guidance that is given to us. So whatever your gut is telling you, whatever your inner voice is telling you, go with it. Even if you think it's, it's something that you don't usually do, maybe something that Maybe something you've been putting off for a while that you've not wanted to do, but your gut is, is telling you to do it. It's your angels telling you that maybe it's time it, it was done today. Divine The Divine Guidance card is, is saying to also look on the cards, at the other cards that have been drawn this morning as well. So we started off with enchantment. So it is about being childlike. They're asking us, to be childlike and get our joy back a little bit as well. Um, and our last card this morning as well, which we'll take into account with the divine guidance, it might be part of the, the message that they're trying to give us, is forgiveness. Let go of anger and resentment and feel, feel yourself healed. You don't need to forgive the action, just the person, so that you can be at peace. We have had this card before. It is a really hard card sometimes to get a grip on, to get our heads round. 
I know that the energies have been really high lately with this Lion's Gate. I know um, myself, for instance, yesterday, I'm not always a completely happy bunny. I decided I was going to get... <laughs> I didn't decide. I, I was I was just in really angry. I was in a bad mood all day yesterday. So it's it's time to get our joy back. And I I was angry with somebody yesterday. Um. So it's time for forgiveness. And I know that I'm not obviously not the only one in that boat. I know there's a lot of us out there that that have arguments. Um. That person has said something wrong, done something wrong, said something awful, hurt our feelings in some way and it is it's not we're not forgiving what they've done because what they did was blooming awful sometimes but we're forgiving the person by drawing this card your angels are guiding you to release the anger and the irritation they realize that you may be perfectly justified in feeling angry yet they ask you to look at the high price that you pay for being the vessel of anger Drinking poison and expecting the other person to get hurt by it is, is what we do when we feel anger. It's not them that are affected, it's us that get affected by it and we need to let it go. We need to get that childlike joy back. We need to listen to that gut instinct of our divine guidance and, and forgive what we need to forgive. So forgiveness doesn't mean that what you did is okay to me. It simply means that I'm no longer willing or wanting uh, to carry that pain around in response to what your actions are. When we hold unforgiveness in our hearts, we only punish ourselves. After all, your angels will help you to release unforgiveness if you just ask for their assistance. So if this is one of your worries today, if this is something, uh, if you're carrying anger around with you or resentment, ask them to help you release it so that you can get back to that childlike state, that enchantment that we all want to, that beautiful state that we all want to be in most of the time, if not all the time. And that's the important, it's not about what our thoughts are. It's not about uh, what we're thinking. It's about our state of being. So it's, it's about how we feel. That is the emanation that we give out to others it's it's what we feel that is sent up to our higher consciousness and is reflected back down to us as well so we need to get rid of it today before it gets reflected back down and we get more of it um so let's try and release let's go for it today and release it and get happy get childlike do something fun and see where that takes us if nothing else we're going to feel better just listen to your gut, your gut feelings about things, okay? So that is your angel cards for today. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they're helping you. I hope you resonate with them. Um, if you'd like a private reading, just click on the link above. Thank you so, so much for, for subscribing. I can't remember if I said that at the beginning, but you know how much I really appreciate it and how important you all are to me and the support that you give the channel every day um, to help it grow. So I will speak to you soon. Namaste, blessings and light.